Have you ever wondered how much difference an SSD, a solid state drive, actually makes to your loading time on Battlefield 3? Well in this video I'm going to be showing you a comparison video showing you exactly how much difference it made for me. So let's get investigating. And we're off. The timer is running in the bottom left hand side of our screen and we are trying to load up the Seine Canal Conquest on Battlefield 3. Now my hard disk drive um, has been mocked, it has been abused, it has been teased by many members of my clan because unfortunately I have absolutely horrific loading times when it comes to Battlefield 3. Um, so horrific that when we play in clan matches uh, we've actually had to put a 30 second timer on the start of the matches where everyone kind of sits around and waits because it takes me that long to get in that everyone else could have started the match uh, before I've even got in there. Note the timer's still going in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Um, it's one of the reasons why in fact I'm probably fairly bad at tanks and things like that um, because the level starts, people jump into the tanks, they drive off with the tanks and I'm still in the loading screen and by the time I get into the game all the tanks have gone, all the planes have gone, all the helicopters have gone and all I'm left with is me running around after everyone going stop, wait, stop and and, and that's bad. I mean in fact I, I, I use so little tanks that I've actually made a video series on how to destroy tanks because that's the only thing I ever seem to find myself doing because my loading times for my hard disk drive really, really are that slow. And you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen the timer is still going. But there is a silver lining at the end of this tunnel if I can mix my metaphors like that um, because my wonderful father has brought me a solid, uh, sorry, a, yeah, a solid state disk drive um, for my birthday which is lovely. So I've made this little recording um, before I have installed it and I'm going to make a second recording afterwards showing you the time difference. And speaking of my birthday, um, an extra little bonus surprise I had was that my channel has finally hit a thousand subscribers and a hundred thousand views, so thank you to all of you who have supported me and supported the channel through that. Little square in the bottom right hand corner, we are almost there, with two minutes gone. Finally we will get into the gameplay, and here we are, at about two minutes, ten seconds-ish, finally I can hit the deploy button and get involved in this game. It has taken me one hundred and 30 seconds to get to this point. Let's see if the SSD can do any better at loading me in, even if I still get shot when I get there. Okay, I know a lot of you watching this video will be asking yourself the question, does the SSD actually make any difference? Is it worth um, my money uh, for this device? So let's find out. Ready? S go! Join game has been pressed, Battlefield 3 is loading, and we are going to find out just how much difference um, putting the operating system and Battlefield 3 on an SSD actually makes to the gameplay. Will it improve your loading times? Will it help you get into those helicopters? And will it stop you getting shot? This is the question. We are already to the tiny little square on the bottom right after only 20 seconds, and by some amazing miracle we are into the game at 25 seconds. That is a massive 1 minute and 45 second reduction on what I was getting before. Now unfortunately, I still get shot, so my gameplay hasn't improved at all, but my ability to get shot is now so much faster than it was before. So I hope you find uh, those comparison shots useful and uh, maybe encourage you to go out and get your own SSD if you can afford it. Um, if you found that video helpful or interesting please give the video a like and do check out the rest of the channel because there's tons of tutorials on there for Battlefield, uh, Borderlands 2 and some other new games coming up as well. Thanks a lot for watching, subscribe if you would like to make sure you don't miss any future videos and I'll see you soon. Take care.